I'm Thomas Blackman of Blackman Auctions. Auctions have been my job well, since I was 18 years old. I got licensed. And it's been my passion ever since. I do love what I do. It's perfect for my personality and perfect for the way my brain works. We've been around since 1938. The longevity is, blows my mind on a lot of occasions. You would never think that you would be able to look at somebody and go, I've been doing business with this family for four generations. That just doesn't happen. So we do have, we have a lot of good, good customers and, and a lot of history there. You know, the Blackman reputation is, I try to maintain what my grandfather and my dad put in place. It, it puts a lot of responsibility on us to continue to do the right thing and to continue to keep those customers. I'm Billy Hartnetty with Blackman Auctions. Been started working for Blackman Auctions in 1991. We've gained all this knowledge and these skills, you know, following Tom Senior's example, and it's a storied, awesome company, three generations long, that everybody who works here cares what happens on auction day for our customers. Thomas and I are just, it's just a natural phenomenon for us to be able to serve our customers. He's got his strengths and I've got mine and, and we just work those together so well. Yeah, we need that boat. Billy is so much more detail oriented than I am on a lot of stuff. I'm insane about the way things look and the professionalism and the collared shirts and everybody needs to match. And that's where my issues come in. Whereas when it comes to like organizing paperwork, details, when it comes to that stuff, he drives me crazy. We, we don't call them issues, we call them skills. <laughs>Our spring contractors auction is one of six auctions we do at our permanent facility in Lone Oak, Arkansas, which is just outside of Little Rock. It is three days with a, our, we call it our junk day on the first day. We, we lovingly say junk day, but if you ever go out there, you understand why. But it's also our day that we sometimes have the biggest crowd. People love to buy that stuff. Our second day, trucks and trailers, cars, vehicles, anything with rubber tires on it that goes down the road. And then our third day is all construction equipment, ag equipment, any accessories that go along with that. It's a big sale. It's our biggest sale. It's a fun one. But the work that goes into each auction is, I don't think anybody really understands it. Because you show up for the day of the auction, that's the fun day. <laughs> that's the fun time. And that's what everybody sees, but they don't see all the work that goes into it. You know, a lot of people, when they're talking to auctioneers, they're like, yeah, do you do that? Do you, do you talk fast? And I go, uh-huh. And they go, what else do you do? And I say, well, 95% of what I do is not talking fast. 95% is so critical to the selling of our customers' equipment. It's marketing, it's organizing, it's getting the word out. Because on auction day, you better have done that. You better have done a great, great job and specifically targeted people who want to buy a pickup and want to buy a big truck and want to buy a skid steer loader and some truck parts. So it's constant. So that's 95% of what we do. We're marketing and organizing and making this thing awesome for auction day. My name is Kenny Ray McGrew. I've been employed with Blackman Auction since 02. My job is cataloging, tagging, uh, basically lining up, uh, categorizing uh, the way it should be categorized trucks, trailers, etc., uh, equipment, dozers with dozers, excavators with excavators, and so on and so forth. My name is Joe Waller. In Blackman Auctions, your job varies. Uh, everybody multitasks, so actually I do computer work. Help Kenny Ray with setup sometimes. We do check-in. This yard here, 70 acres. We take pride in the way our yards look. Thomas bought us a new grader, so we grade the yards, kind of keep it smooth. It's easier on equipment, looks nice. We uh, all pitch in and try to weed eat and mow to the best of our ability. You know, we got a tractor and a bush hog and, and just all kind of equipment to uh, appearance. And also the appearance of the property also makes a good difference in the appearance of your equipment. We want our customers when they come up the driveway to say, wow, you know, this is nice. We want to do the best job we can presenting your equipment, your car, your truck, your trailer to where uh, somebody would want to buy it. All of these steps that we take before the auction are so critical 
because this is about people more so than it's about equipment, but it's about people's equipment. You can't predict what everything's gonna bring, but you can control the amount of effort you put in to trying to represent it, market it, and sell it for somebody. And it starts really with your personal meeting with your customer, but then it quickly shifts into the marketing that happens weeks before the auction, and then the organizing, and then the setup, and it all comes together for those big three days, and it's just very exciting between the tradition, the preparation, the amount of items and the people, it's just awesome. Our buyers are starting to call us and ask us what's going to be there and our sellers are starting to slowly start streaming stuff in. So it's the calm before the storm at this point. All the groundwork's been laid and gates open and it's time to start checking equipment in and getting ready for April Contractors Auction.